going up. Okay, I can't see the impact, but she was moving around. Got again. Hit him. That was good movement. Bottom right edge, four o'clock. Just oh, off left left. edge, nine o'clock. I went too far in my hold. Oh, okay. Okay, g'day guys. Um, out here today doing a little bit of uh, R&D, a little bit of testing and um, a little bit of um, setting up. What we've got coming, what we're uh, uh, hoping to be putting forward is some um, 22 um, LRs, 22 long rifles, um, in some sort of tests and comparisons, but really more a bit of display, a bit of shooting them and watch, showing what they can do. From the cheaper ones to the more expensive ones, but getting some of that sort of stuff and putting through their paces. I'm also um, in the mind of, for guys like, this one is set up for PRS trainers and that type of thing, but there's also a little bit of um, what I would call mini ELR, so shooting little, little targets, but at long ranges for the 22. So to put that through that pace, we've got this one, which is probably our benchmark for the moment. Um, this is the CZ455 um, in a, which is the, this is the synthetic varmint. Um, so nice heavy barrel. It's got this little flash hider or muzzle brake on the front of it, not really doing much other than aesthetics. Um, and we've got it in the MDT chassis, which is the MDT ACC chassis, which is their PRC trainer. Um, I've got on the really good PRC scope. This is a Nightfall 7x35, so big, powerful scope to be in this situation. Really great for zooming in at the closer range target, targets, but also good adjustments to get out to the long targets. So it's really how we're going to do this sort of thing, a little bit like I said, as the benchmark side of it. So then we've got out there is our 22, our FTC target, which is two and a half inch down to quarter inch. Go through and do that. Out at 100 yards, we've got a dueling plate, a dueling um, tree, which is two and a half inch targets at 100 yards. Not quite sorted out that target yet, but still tested it, liked how it worked. And then we've got our mini, first mini ELR target, which is a six inch by six inch target on a little sand, very similar to what we shoot in the big stuff. Um, and that's out at 250 yards. So at 250 yards, it's obviously just, at six inch target, it's just over two MOA target. So still a bit of skill to get a dial on and that sort of stuff. And in truth, that dialed on really nicely. I should say, by the way, I'm using, for all that stuff, we're just using the standard velocity um, CCI ammo. So stuff with a little target on the front of it, but that, that standard velocity ammo. And then, and pushing the boundaries in our ELR stuff, we put one right out there at 500 yards. The first target shot really nicely. Sam did that as well. Shot really well. Really happy with it. And we'll show you that stuff. Good to go. Good to go. Yep. Okay. Getting some more wind or something, other than just hearing them hit. Yeah, they're still moving them well though. Number eight. Have a little bit to the left. Got him. Got him. Got him. That Solid was right hit. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Four, done. Left, right, about there. So, calculate. It says 1.5. Good to go. So, I'm going to the bottom one first. Radio. Got it. Got him. Nice central hit. Wow, that was dead center, wasn't it? For a dial in. <laughs> Oh, 
The second one, that one looked like it went low. Yeah, saw the weeds on the right move, but I didn't say. We're just on a bit of a ridge, so they're going over. I'm not getting a backdrop to let you know where they went. Yeah, exactly. I don't know where to go either. The first one smacked it. Did, central. Oh, okay. I've got ten to do six shots, so <laughs> I don't know where to go. Got, got him. <laughs> oh, did I get it or the one above it? Um, you got oh, it. Um, one o'clock. Yeah, just on the edge. So yeah. like one thirty. Okay, so I've got to hold a little bit more. We're going to the next one up. Okay. Got him. Yeah, nicked uh -oh, him. Oh, just yep, nicked him. Like um, top right edge. Top right edge. So one thirty. Yeah, okay. Got him. I held a little bit more left. Just to the right of centre. Got him. Got him. I should have that one more to see if I can get him. Righty -o. Got him. Nice. Okay. Yeah, awesome. So we've got to wait for the sun a little bit. Okay. But let's range out to. Oh, no, nearly, in the, nearly in the sun. And camera's on, need to get me on. Good to go. Oh, top right. So a quarter of a target right, uh, three quarters of a target tall. All right. Yep. Got a bit too far. Come down one MOA. Yep. One MOA should be, well, it's only eight, two inches out there. Yep. So it sounds a bit higher than that. Oh, no, let's come down two MOA. Radio. Right, yeah. And three quarters of a target right. Half target right. Half target right. Not far off. Wind's a bit heavier. It is, yes. Let's try. Oh, Ooh. just off right edge, three o'clock. <laughs> Got him. Awesome. Two. Two o'clock, just in from right edge. Well, five out of ten. That's pretty good, isn't it? That is pretty good. Yep. Magazine. Yep. We still got dark on our. Five hundred. Well, I could shoot at the um, FTC target. Yep. Okay, let's set you up on it. Thirty-eight. So that was six and thirty-eight. Good, pretty central, I think. Okay. Yeah, you gotta shoot through it. Need the sheep to eat more. <laughs> A good solid hit. Okay. Another one. Good one. Ooh. There you go. 
got him. He got him, but I can't tell. I think it was left edge. No. 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 <laughs> okay, but good. Okay. So now you dial up. Get yourself over onto the other target. Yep. Adjust your parallax. It's just over a hundred yards. Yep. Bottom one. Okay, yep. Got him, smack, almost dead center. Yeah, next one's a challenge. Got him, almost dead center again. Okay. Wind one. seal's fairly constant, so just carry on. Okay. Got him, beautiful. Next one up. Nice. <laughs> you hear it out there. Yeah, okay. so um, uh, I don't know. The wind feels less, so go to uh, right edge. No, 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 sorry, we didn't hear anything, did we? No. So go left edge regardless. Go to left edge of the circle. Okay. Yeah, okay. beautiful. Can you see where it hit? Um, yeah, pretty much left edge, okay, I think. Well, I'll go same. So go same on the next one up. Whoa, oh, just no. nicked him. The jar's got him. Okay, I'll go a bit more to the right. Beautiful. Okay. Only seven shots. Yeah. Okay. So over onto the next one. Ready? Yep. Okay, we ready? Yep. Just, just right. Okay. So hold left edge. Okay. That wind's picking up. Got it. Oh, that's sort of in the middle at the bottom. One of those. I think it's one of those two pretty close yeah. to centre, so follow up with that. I didn't see it. No, neither no, did no. I. There was also something right up high, but yeah, go again. I got a wobble in my scope just as that happened. Bit, Probably was right. Go a bit further left. Yeah, hold halfway between the leg and the side of the target. Yeah. To the left. Got it. Got I think that's on top of one of the ones in the right bottom corner. Yeah. yeah it is just above it. Okay, so I've got to go. So, same place. The wind's backed off, so go same place. Got it again. Oh, I heard the tink. Yeah, it did. Yep. Um, it's on top of one of the other ones. Oh, it's, I think it's the top right corner. Yeah. Left corner, I should yeah. say, but I'm not sure. Got it. Oh, there it is. There yep, I the think that might, those two might be right close together. Okay. Oh, oh made a mess of the target. Okay. <laughs> that must be changing the wind. Oh, it was just dropped in there, only 22 am I? Got it, cleaned the dirt off. Yeah, I think that was and in the right corner. I think that was in that gang in the bottom right corner, you're sort of grouping them. And again, that's close to the middle, that's down at 6 o'clock. Might be out. Should be, I think that's, um, yeah, that might be 6 on plate. Yeah. The 500 yard target really getting past the level of what the CCI dealt could do or the, um, the standard velocity stuff could do properly out here. Now whether that's the conditions or that's just the ammo at that stage I don't know but it was really a little inconsistent. I got some good groups and then there was some stuff that was a fair bit high and a fair bit low. Wind is varying a little bit but still got on there in 20 rounds we got on there and managed to hit it. So awesome, really happy with that. Uh, then we actually did the, I thought, what I'd previously used for the really long stuff with the 22s was the um, a bit more random in the scope and the rifle setup and that sort of thing but I was using the CCI Velocita so powerful it runs more more powder 40 uh, 40 grain bullet but it's um, running 14 35 feet per second so quite a little bang to it 
Um, and that was really good. In 20 rounds, we got on, we had to sort it out, dial it on, adjust it, make, make all the settings suit, but on there, work out the hold, and then hit it pretty consistently. Tall and right, quarter of the uh, three quarters of the target tall, three quarters of the target right. Tall and right, one target tall, three quarters of the target right. Three o'clock, half target right. Bottom right corner, half target. Hit! Moving him around. Got a nice noise out of it too. Yeah, got a nice little noise. That was yeah. a long way to fucking hold. The wind kept on picking up. Okay, I can't see the impact, but she was moving around. Got it again! Hit him! That was a good movement. Bottom right edge, four o'clock. Just oh, off left left. edge, nine o'clock. I went too far in my hold. Oh, okay. Do not see. Okay. Not there. Left, left and low, uh, quarter target low, half target left. Okay, so going too far. One more. Uh, all right, another one. So yeah. come back. Still two hits, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, man. Hit. Hit again. On plate. There we go, 10 o'clock, just a couple of inches left edge. Out. Out. Well, that was three hits. The velocity three is hits. a lot better out there. Okay. Yep. Well, for all the thoughts that it's not going to be consistent, the velocity, um, like I said, a lot better out there. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, yeah, that was that was not bad for a six-inch plate at 500 yards with a 22 um, to get on that. That's only just over one MOA. So. I was wrapped. Anyway, got all the footage there, bit of an idea, mini ELR, mini PRC, a bit of a, a course to put things through, we'll sort of make sense as we go along, but this is our starting point, thought we'd bring you along for the ride, uh, like let us know any thoughts you got on the subject, um, and um, yeah, thanks for checking in on us, we'll catch us. Hi guys, Sam here. For folks that are interested in our products that you will have seen in our videos, these are all products that Mark has designed through our experience in ELR shooting. We manufacture them here ourselves. The likes of our adjustable bag bases, bag riders, bipod systems, muzzle brakes, shot data recording sets, and even our great fun little 22 long rifle target. These are all available in our web store, the links to which are below this video, along with our contact information. And guys, we work hard at putting these videos together. So we appreciate all the help we can get. For those of you who haven't subscribed, don't forget and hit the bell so you get notifications of when our videos come out. It would be awesome to get some financial support. So for those of you who can, you can purchase support bits on our web store which help us bring these videos to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.